In the infinite cosmos of consciousness, there exists a dormant power, a divine energy, known as Kundalini. This coiled serpent of energy lies dormant within us, veiled in mystery and potent with transformative potential. When awakened, it rises, leading us on a spiritual odyssey towards enlightenment. This journey is not for the faint-hearted, but for those who dare to delve into their deepest selves. Unlocking this divine energy requires specific techniques. Are you ready to embark on this mystical journey? The first key to unlock the Kundalini lies in meditation, a journey within oneself. This journey, my friends, is a voyage to the core of your being, a quest for the dormant serpent energy known as Kundalini. Meditation serves as the vessel that carries you towards this profound revelation. The significance of meditation in Kundalini awakening cannot be overstated. It's the bridge that connects the physical realm with the spiritual, the conduit through which the Kundalini energy ascends, piercing through the chakras and uniting with the cosmic consciousness. In essence, meditation is your ticket to this divine dance of energy. It's vital to understand that there isn't a one-size-fits-all approach to meditation. Your journey is your own, and so are the methods that pave the way. Let's explore a few techniques that can guide you on this path. Firstly, we have the breath-focused meditation. It's as simple as it sounds. Your breath becomes your guide, your focal point. As you inhale, visualize the kundalini energy at the base of your spine. With each exhale, imagine this energy rising, awakening each chakra as it ascends. This technique brings you into the present moment, grounding you while encouraging the kundalini to stir from its slumber. Next, there's visualization meditation. Picture a radiant coiled serpent at the base of your spine. As you meditate, visualize this serpent uncoiling, its energy spiraling up your spine. This method is powerful as it employs your mind's innate ability to shape reality. Lastly, mantra meditation offers a sonic pathway to kundalini awakening. Repeating a specific mantra like Om or Satnam can create a vibrational frequency that resonates with the kundalini energy, beckoning it to rise. Regardless of the technique you choose, consistency and patience are key. Awakening the kundalini is not a race, but a journey. It's a process of self-discovery, self-love, and self-transcendence. It's a path to be walked with reverence, dedication, and unwavering faith. Remember, meditation is not a task, but a way of life. Embrace it, and you are one step closer to awakening your kundalini. Affirmations, the second key, are powerful statements that can alter our energy vibrations. In the journey of kundalini awakening, affirmations play a crucial role. They are the whispers we send to the universe, the echoes of our deepest desires and the compass that guides our spiritual energy. When we speak of affirmations, we are talking about potent, intentional phrases that we repeat with conviction and clarity. They are not just words, but powerful tools that can shift our energy vibrations and pave the way for kundalini awakening. Imagine affirmations as the igniters of the dormant spiritual energy within us. They are like keys, turning the lock and opening the door to the divine energy that lies coiled within each one of us. Consider, for instance, the affirmation, I am open to divine energy. This is not a mere statement. It is a declaration of readiness, a call to the universe that you are prepared to embrace the divine energy that is your birthright. Or take the affirmation, my kundalini energy is awakening. This is a powerful assertion, a proclamation that your spiritual journey has begun and your inner divine energy is stirring. But remember, affirmations are not magic spells. They require sincere belief and consistent repetition. It's not enough to say them once and then forget about them. They should be repeated with faith, conviction, and a clear understanding of their meaning. Consider them as seeds. Just as a seed needs water, sunlight, and time to grow into a plant, affirmations require belief, repetition, and time to manifest into reality. Picture yourself standing in a field of potential, the affirmations being the seeds you are sowing. With each repetition, you water these seeds, nurturing them with your belief and conviction. And over time, these seeds sprout, grow, and blossom into the beautiful reality of your Kundalini awakening. Harness the power of affirmations, and you are another step closer to your spiritual awakening. Mudras, the third key, are symbolic hand gestures that can channelize cosmic energy. Delve into the realm of the sublime, the profound, the unseen. We are exploring mudras, the language of silence, a code to unlock Kundalini's potential. These are not just hand gestures. 
they are a bridge between the physical and spiritual, a pathway to the divine energy that lies coiled within us. Let's explore together a few of these potent mudras. First, there's the Gyan Mudra, the Mudra of Knowledge. This simple yet powerful mudra is performed by connecting the thumb and the index finger, forming a circle, while the other fingers are extended outwards. This mudra is said to stimulate the root chakra, subtly preparing the body for the Kundalini awakening. Next, we have the Shambhavi Mudra. This is a powerful eye technique that involves focusing the eyes at the point between the eyebrows, often referred to as the third eye. The Shambhavi Mudra is said to activate the Ajna Chakra, the command center for the Kundalini energy. And finally, the Kachari Mudra. This mudra, often described as the king of mudras, involves rolling the tongue back towards the soft palate, reaching up towards the nasal cavity. This mudra is said to channelize the flow of pranic energy upwards, stimulating the Kundalini to move upwards along the spine. Each mudra, in its unique way, prepares the body and mind for the awakening of Kundalini. They create subtle changes in our energy patterns, gently nudging the sleeping serpent to stir from its slumber. Remember, practice these mudras with respect and patience. They are not just physical movements, they are a dialogue with the divine, a silent prayer to the cosmos. Dedicate yourself to the practice and you will slowly but surely feel the changes within you. Master these mudras and you are yet another step closer to your spiritual transformation. The final key, frequencies, are the cosmic symphony that can resonate with our energy vibrations. Frequencies, these invisible waves that permeate our universe, have a profound influence on our spiritual journey. They are the harmonious melodies of the cosmos that can guide our path towards Kundalini awakening. In our quest for awakening, certain frequencies hold a special place. Frequencies like 528 Hertz, often referred to as the miracle tone. This frequency is known for its transformative power. It's like a sonic elixir that can repair our DNA, promote healing, and instigate changes on a cellular level. Another significant frequency is 963 Hertz, the frequency of divine awakening. This frequency is said to connect us with the divine, opening up pathways to spiritual enlightenment. It helps us to transcend our physical existence, aligning us with the higher realms of consciousness. But how do we incorporate these frequencies into our meditation and daily life? It's simpler than you might think. You can find numerous audio tracks online that are tuned to these specific frequencies. By incorporating them into your meditation practice, you can create a powerful sonic environment conducive to awakening your Kundalini. Imagine the frequencies as waves, washing over you, penetrating deep into your being. Each wave aligns, balances and tunes your energy centers, guiding you closer to your awakening. Whether you're meditating, working or resting, let these frequencies play in the background, allowing them to subtly influence your energy field. Integrating these frequencies into your life is like tuning an instrument. Just as a musician tunes their instrument to produce harmonious music, you are tuning your body, your ultimate instrument, to the cosmic symphony of awakening. The journey towards Kundalini awakening is a deeply personal and transformative one. It's a journey that transcends the physical, delving into the realm of the spiritual, and frequencies, these invisible, yet profoundly impactful waves, are your guides on this journey. Tune into these frequencies, and you are at the threshold of awakening your Kundalini. The keys are in your hands. The door to divine energy awaits. We've journeyed together, exploring the paths to the awakening of Kundalini, the coiled serpent of divine energy nestled at the base of our spine. Remember, the techniques we've reviewed are not mere steps, but layers of an intricate dance between the physical, the mental, and the spiritual. The meditations we discussed are not just exercises in stillness, but a profound conversation with the self, a dialogue with the divine within. The affirmations we've shared are more than mere words. They are powerful declarations of intent, resonating with the universe, beckoning the Kundalini to rise. The mudras, those intricate hand gestures, they're not simply symbolic. They are keys to unlock the energetic pathways, inviting the divine serpent to ascend. Frequencies, the vibrational music for our soul, they fine-tune our bodies to the cosmic rhythm, setting the stage for the grand awakening. This journey is not a sprint, but a marathon. It requires patience, persistence, and above all, faith in the process. There will be moments of doubt, moments of wonder, moments of sublime bliss, and all of these are part of the journey. Remember, you are not merely a traveler on this path. 
You are the path. Every breath, every thought, every movement brings you closer to the awakening. Embark on this journey with an open heart and mind. The awakening of Kundalini, your divine energy awaits. Now that the Kundalini has awakened, you might be wondering, what's next? The awakening of Kundalini, my friends, is just the beginning. The spiritual voyage you've embarked upon is not a destination but a continual journey, a lifelong process of self-discovery and self-transformation. The Kundalini awakening is the first step towards a higher consciousness. It's like unlocking a secret door, stepping into a world of profound wisdom and heightened awareness. There are many more secrets of the universe yet to explore. The coiled serpent of divine energy has just begun to stir, to uncoil. As you continue to deepen your practice, you'll discover new layers within yourself, new dimensions of your being. The universe is vast and so is the journey within. So what's next? More meditation, more affirmations, more mudras, more frequencies, and most importantly, more self-discovery. As we continue on this journey together, we'll delve deeper into these practices, uncovering new paths, new techniques, and new insights. So, are you ready for the next chapter in your spiritual journey? Stay tuned, subscribe, share, like, and hit the notification bell for more insightful discussions on Kundalini and the journey to self-discovery. Remember, the journey continues. And so does our exploration into the mysteries of Kundalini.